As one of the most popular junk removal tools out there, CCleaner doesn't need an introduction. I'll just say this, that their pro version promises to make the process of keeping your PC fast and junk free easier than ever. This is Leo from Fall Critic and today we'll be reviewing CCleaner Pro. CCleaner Pro comes with a very small installer, it's only 6.4 megabytes and it's a very simple installation process, it gives you a few options. Now there are several ways of launching this program which is pretty cool. You can obviously make a desktop shortcut, a start menu shortcut, whatever. But apart from that you can actually launch this program by right clicking on the recycle bin and you can either directly open CCleaner or you can directly run the cleaner without having to open the interface at all which is very handy and it's a very unique and neat feature. Now taking a look at the user interface it's one of the most recognizable user interface in terms of uh, junk cleaners. It has a very nice layout where on the left hand side you have the locations that it's going to scan and you can select the applications that are to be scanned as well. It has two sections for Windows and uh, other third-party applications. And you can either first analyze and find what's wrong and then you can manually select what to remove or you can just run the cleaner and uh, allow it to delete whatever it thinks is junk or unnecessary. Although the cleaner is the primary function of this program, it does come with a lot of other tools which we're going to talk about. Now it also comes with a registry cleaner. Although this is not as detailed and um, as effective as some of its other competitors or um, you know dedicated registry cleaning tools, it is a welcome addition in a program like this. So you can just scan your computer for issues and it's going to show you all the registry keys that uh, need to be re removed. And then you can go ahead and uh, select the ones that you want or you can just select all of them and uh, click on fix selected issues. And the really nice part is it allows you to back up your registry before doing this so that in case some important key is deleted and it causes your system to stop functioning correctly, you can always go back and restore your registry to the previous state, which is very important for a registry cleaner software. So I really appreciate this feature. So it allows you to save your registry in any location that you choose. We're just gonna save it in documents and then you can fix the issues one by one but we're just going to fix all selected issues. And there you go, 38 issues fixed. Now the tools menu has several cool features. It allows you to uninstall any program from here directly without having to open up control panel. It has a startup monitor, so you can decide what programs start up automatically, but you can do much more than that, which is nice. You can actually check the different helpers or different objects that are going to load up along with your browser and disable BHOs this way. You can check your scheduled tasks and you can even check your context menu options and remove or disable something that you do not think is necessary. Once again, these are very useful options and not a lot of other software or junk cleaners provide these. So this is something that I really appreciate. Now Disk Analyzer allows you to find uh, what things are taking up the most space on your disk and therefore it helps you you know free up space. If you're planning to delete stuff instead of just randomly going and looking for things you can use this tool and it can help you be much more productive while deciding what you need to remove in order to free up disk space. Duplicate Finder is again a very nice tool that allows you to find uh, duplicate files and it has several options here. It, you can ignore certain types of files, you can match by name, size, or the modified date or all of these and you can select your locations. 
once again, it's it's not as effective as um, some of the other dedicated tools, but I mean, it's an all-in-one package and uh, this tool does come in handy. Now it also allows you to directly access System Restore from here, which is really nice again. And Drive Wiper allows you to permanently erase uh, content on your drives. So you can do a simple override or an advanced override or a complex override depending on the number of passes you want to go through it and uh, it allows you to delete data that is really secret to you and you don't want anyone to know about it. So that's another cool feature. Now the options menu is also very elaborate and it's highly customizable which is once again something I appreciate. This program works well for both novice and advanced users. You can run CCleaner when the computer starts. Every time your computer starts, it's going to automatically clean up your junk files, which is nice. You can run it on a schedule. Here are the options to um, enable the registry key shortcuts. Uh, I mean the registry icon right-click shortcuts. And uh, you have uh, the option to automatically check for updates. Now you have several options to um, delete files in a secure way. You can select whichever default option you want to use and you have some other wipe options as well. So if you're going to select secure file deletion here, what I think it's going to do is for all the files that it's going to remove, the junk files, it's going to do a secure file deletion. Which is not really necessary, but if you want to do it, they have the option. And you can select any drive that you want to be wiped regularly so that uh, all the free space is, is totally wiped. Now, this is something that is really nice about CCleaner. This is a feature both in the free and pro versions, and it is uh, intelligent cookie scan. So what it does is uh, it scans your browser activity and finds cookies that are required. Like, for example, when you log into something like your Microsoft website or your email, you sometimes want it to stay logged in. You don't necessarily want to remove the cookie, which is going to essentially mean that you'll have to log in every time. So it automatically decides which cookies it needs to keep and which are to be deleted. And if, if you're not happy with the automatic selection, you can also select uh, certain cookies over here and you can add them to the list of exclusions. Once again, very useful feature and um, something that CCleaner is very well known for. Now, what makes the Pro version special is it has very nice monitoring options. So instead of you having to run CCleaner when you think it is necessary, what it does is it automatically monitors your system. And once you have active monitoring enabled and browser monitoring enabled, what it's going to do is it is automatically going to clean the system or clean the junk files every time the um, junk exceeds a certain size. Like for example, right now we have it set to 200 megabytes. So every time I have junk of more than 200 megabytes, CCleaner is automatically going to kick in and remove that junk and I don't have to do anything. So it's one of the best automatic maintenance systems I've ever seen and they've implemented it really well. So kudos to CCleaner for that. Now you can manage um, whether CCleaner is going to work with the current user or all users or the selected users. And um, yeah, you do have some advanced options like you can minimize it to system tray instead of um, you know minimizing it down to the taskbar. You can skip the user account control warning, which is again really nice because people do launch this kind of thing regularly and especially if you're automating it, the UAC warning can get in your way. So it's really nice that they've thought of every single possibility and they've added everything as an option. And uh, this is something that you don't see very often in programs. So now let's just run the cleaner just for fun. As you can see, we have 27.3 megabytes of junk, and we're going to get rid of that crap. It does warn you that it's going to permanently delete files, but you can select to not show this message ever again. And there you have it. All your junk is now removed. Now, CCleaner Professional is a wonderful program, and I do recommend it thoroughly. I myself have been using CCleaner 
since a very long time and uh, it's one of the tried and tested tools that uh, almost every computer should have. So that's my overview of CCleaner Professional. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the written review on our website www.filecritic.com. This is Leo signing out.